Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2020 Pigeon Forge Rod Run with the Scotty DTV Dirty Dozen. And this year we ended up with 10. Uh, COVID, some people couldn't make it, and then the promoters asked me not to um, invite, you know, fill those spots when they fell out so that we'd have more room for people to come in and enjoy the vendors and the cars that were there. So we ended up with 10. Understand, you know, I could have put 12 together, <laughs> you know, most of the time it's 14, but for you counters out there, yes, you'll see there's 10 cars. But again, we had a great weekend, awesome time. It was so good to get out. Big shout out to everybody that puts that show on. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Not only for letting me bring in these cars, but letting all those people in the front door to come in and enjoy all this stuff. So in this video, I've got to walk around just the 10 cars that made it. So let me get the camera around, turn it around, and we'll take a look at them. So first of all, we got uh, Troy's 1967 Camaro. True unveil, he kept it from spring because of COVID, couldn't show it, and uh, we unveiled it. Invited him in the spring and then he couldn't make, you know, they didn't have a show, so we ended up unveiling it at the fall show. Very cool car, got a feature coming on that one, scottydtv.com. Dole Thomas's 1966 Charger, Rudder's Rods. All these cars actually either have a feature or have one coming soon. There was two that we unveiled up here at the Dirty Dozen 2020 Pigeon Forge Gerard Run, and I haven't got those posted yet. Another Dole Thomas 1957 Ford by Rudders Rods. Very cool cars, all of them. I was proud to have them all there. They were all there for a uh, good reason. If you've never been to the Pigeon Forge Gerard Run, of course, you need to get there. And if you have been, then you know what I'm talking about. You wouldn't want to miss it, would you? Especially when we got the Dirty Dozen and John Jennings' 1974 Torino all in. Back in with the new Holcomb interior. How cool is that? Blacked out wheels. Check out the feature, the upgrade of the Holcomb interior on that one. Parquet is the color. How cool is that? Big view video. Everybody loves John's Torino. It's a very cool car. If you've not seen it, make sure you check it out, scottydtv.com. Got Tommy's 1955 Chevy wagon, appeared at SEMA, Holcomb Interior, Scotty DTV Dirty Dozen, invitee to the 2020 Pigeon Forge Rod Run. Cool car. Tommy's a cool dude, too. If y'all were out at the show and got time to talk to him, you figured that out. Cold Sweat, 1929 Ford. Ricky Bobby built. Keith's the owner, very cool guy. That was actually the car that was on a t-shirt. On top of being in the Dirty Dozen, how special was he? He got to be on the Pigeon Forge Rod Run t-shirt on top of that. True Unveil, 1957 Chevrolet. Big Oak, Mark Schaefer. Car he had when he was a kid. That was a car he bought when he was like 17 years old. And then a little while back, he brought it to Big Oak. They put their touch to it, and then we unveiled it at the... Uh, Scotty D TV Dirty Dozen. Cool car. Feature will be up soon on that one. Jerry's GTX. Jerry's GTX is a driver. It's always been a driver. It used to be a drag car. He bought the car, got a ticket like that night, couldn't drive the car on the road for a year, so he took it to the racetrack and drove it. And he's had it all this time. So it's a cool car, cool story. This one, uh, Classic Restorations of Southern Indiana, debuted up in Louisville at the NSRA show. We shot a feature on it there. And uh, that feature is already posted to scottydtv.com. But Dustin and the boys always uh, bring cool to the uh, Dirty Dozen. And this year was no exception with this 65 Mustang. And there you go. The 1969 Ford Ranger turned into a Bronco. How cool is that? So there you go. 10 cars instead of 12. I could have had 12. I just wanted to be clear on that. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.